Hello everyone. In today's video, I'll be explaining how to find the stability of a system using Rao stability criteria. Okay. So for checking the stability of the system using Rao stability criteria, we know we can find the stability from the characteristic equation of the given system. So uh, let us consider a characteristic equation given here that is s raised to 5 plus 2 s raised to 4 plus 2 s cube plus 4 s square plus 4 s plus 8 is equal to 0. This is a given characteristic equation. So according to the Rao stability criteria, the first step what we have to do is we have to form the Rao theory. How will you form the Rao theory? First check the power of s. So in the given characteristic equation, if all the powers of s are present, then we can proceed further. Okay, so it is starting from s raised to 5. We can see that in decreasing order s raised to 5, s raised to 4, s raised to 3. So what we have to do is we, we have to form an array starting from s raised to 5, then s raised to 4, s raised to 3, s raised to 2, s raised to 1, s raised to 0. s raised to 0 is nothing but it is the constant term. So next step is to you have to enter the complete this Routh array. So, how will you uh, complete the Routh array? Check the coefficient of the given equation. So, so, the first coefficient of this one is for the power s raised to 5, that is 1. So, 1 we should enter here as the first element. What will be the second element in the first row? The second element will be the alternate powers. Means, now if we had taken s raised to 5, then next one should be s raised to 3. The coefficient of s raised to 3 should come as the second term. Then after s raised to 3, the next alternate next alternate term that should be s raised to 1 should come as the next term. So here in this one, first one, in the first row we will be having 1. The next element is the alternate one. So which is corresponding to s raised to 3. So 1, 2, then after s, s raised to 3, we have to check the next to odd one that is uh, 4 so here you just see the first power is s raised to 5 so all the odd powers will come in the first row and the even powers of s will the coefficient of even powers of s will come in the second row so here you can see the even powers are s raised to 4 s raised to 2 and s raised to 0 that is the coefficients are 2 4 and 8 so that uh, we that you have to put it in the second row so we got 2 4 8 in the second row now we have to see the first two rows we can obtain from the given characteristic equation. But we have to complete the uh, route array till s raised to 0 row and check for the stability. So when you can say the system is stable, when after completing this route array, if the first column of this route array, if all the elements are positive, then you can say the system is stable. If there are ne any negative elements present, that means the system is unstable. Okay. So, first we will uh, complete this array. So, for completing the third row, what we have to do is we have to use the first two rows to complete the third row. So, from the second, the first and second row, we will be first finding this s raised to 3, the first element. How will you find? That is this 2 into 2, that is 4. So, 2 into 2 is 4, then minus that 1 into 4 minus 1 into 4 is 4 that divided by that divided by this element okay divided by 2 so you'll be getting 0 by 2 that is 0 you got it as 0 so i i wrote it as 0 here next element how will you find that is this element this 2 into 4 here the next one 2 into 4 that is 8 minus this 1 into 8 okay here like this it will be going on so you first you have done this 2 into 2 minus 1 into 4 here in the second step you will be doing 2 into 4 minus 2 into 8 so that one will be 8 minus 8 again 8 minus 8 divided by the same thing divided by 2 again you will be getting it as 0 so i have written it as 0 here so we don't have any more elements here so we just uh, put a 0 there now you can see that uh, the third row uh, we have come across all the elements zero elements so it is like we won't be able to proceed further because if we proceed further it, the division term will be with the zero so everywhere it will become infinity so we have to actually uh, find the auxiliary equation for this array how will you find the auxiliary equation so now you know that in the third row that is corresponding to the power of uh, 3 in s s cube 
we have all elements 0. So, auxiliary x equation is found by just one row about that row which is having all the elements 0. So, which is the row which is above the 0 row that is s raised to 4. So, we have to find the auxiliary equation. So, s raised to 4 we know that in every uh, row we are putting the alternate elements right so s raised to 4 this is an even row that means the first power will be s raised to first element will be uh, this coefficient is 2 then it is 2 s raised to 4 plus second element is this 4 so the power will be the next even one that is 4 s square plus the third element is 8 so 8 s raised to 0 so power you can see 4 2 0 all the even numbers are there so we got the auxiliary equation as 2 s raised to 4 plus here you can see the auxiliary equation we got it as 2 s raised to 4 plus 4 s square plus 8 is equal to 0 now for completing the array what we have to do is now this this is the difficulty arises this is one of the case of difficulties that arises when you are doing the uh, forming the route array that is all the element of a particular row becoming 0 so in if it happens like that then you have to write the auxiliary equation and once you get this auxiliary equation what you have to do is take the derivative of this auxiliary equation with respect to s we know that auxiliary equation is already in terms of s so we can take the derivative of this one that is das by ds that you got when you are taking the derivative of this equation so 2s raised to 4 is nothing but uh, 2 into 4s cube 4s cube plus 4 into you are taking the derivative of s square s square derivative is 2s into 2s plus uh, derivative of 8 is 0. So, we will be getting 8s cube plus 8s as the derivative. So, that is das by ds. So, you got that one uh, the equation. We First, we found the auxiliary equation then we found the derivative. Next step what we have to do is we have to take this coefficient of this, uh, this derivative of the auxiliary equation and put it substitute in the row which is having 0 because we know that here the row which is having 0 is s cube so we have the equation with s cube here this one das by ds you have that so this coefficients of this equation we have to put it instead of zeros there so the coefficients you are having is 8 8 and 0 so instead of the 0 0 0 what we do is we'll be substituting this 8 8 so that one we have substituted here 8 8 and this one 0 okay now we have completed the uh, row that is the third row which were 0 before which was 0 before and now we have substituted non zero value from by taking the auxiliary derivative of the auxiliary equation and substituting the coefficient of the derivative of auxiliary equations that is 8 and 8 so 8 8 0 now we can proceed for completing the route array so how will you proceed that is the first here now this three rows we have now first this two rows will be considering for finding the this fourth row so for the first element i will you find is 8 into 4 minus this 2 into 8 that is 8 into 4 is 32 so 32 minus 16 that divided by divided by this term so divided by 8 so it is uh, 16 by 8 you, you will be getting it as 2 what about this one the second element second element how will you do is we will be doing 8 into 8 this one minus 2 into 0 okay so 8 into 8 minus 8 into 8 is 64 minus 2 into 0 that is 0 that divided by the same element this one so divided by 8 you will be getting it as 8 so you are substituting it as this next element so next element is 0 you don't have to do it so the first multiplication is this 8 into 4 minus 2 into 8 and the second multiplication is this one i'll just use a different color second multiplication is this 8 into 8 minus 2 into 0 okay so this is the second multiplication so now when now you got 280 as the fourth row okay now we can find the fifth row element that is corresponding to s raised to 1 so what we do here it is again what we do 8 into 2 that is 16 16 minus 8 into 8 so 16 minus 64 
divided by divided by the first element so that is 2 so here we will be getting it as minus 48 divided by 2 so we will be getting it as minus 24 so I have substituted it as minus 24 so the next element will be how will you find 2 into 0 minus 8 into 0 that is 0 minus 0 divided by this 2 so it is 0 you are getting now we have got this row now only one row is remaining s raised to 0 here also we will be doing the same thing that is 24 into 8 24 into 8 minus 2 into 0 so 24 into 8 minus 24 into 8 minus 2 into 0 that is minus 24 into 8 minus 2 into 0 divided by divided by which element the first element divided by minus 24 so what you will be getting you will be getting this one as 0 and minus 24 into 8 divided by minus 24 you will be getting it as 8 so you got the answer as 8 here so now our route array is complete to check whether whether you are uh, the route array formed is correct or not you can check the value here s raised to 0 so the value corresponding to this last row should be the constant term from the sorry here not this one the constant term from the uh, this uh, characteristic equation so if this characteristic equation the constant term we can see that it is 8 so that 8 should be our last row in the route array if that is the element you are getting that means the array formed by that is correct you have formed the correct you have correctly formed the array now you form the you found the complete array so now uh, what we have to how will you check for the stability as i said for checking for the stability using the row stability criteria we need to check the elements in the first row of first column of this row array that, that is this one the first row column is this one so if all the elements are positive then you can say the system is stable if there are any negative terms that means that the system is unstable now here you can see that there is a negative term here that is minus 24 that means the given system is unstable but how will you find the number of roots lying on the right hand side we know that uh, for a stable system all the roots should lie on the left half of s plane roots in the sense closed loop poles should lie on the left half of s plane so if you want to check how many roots are lying on the right half of um, s plane then you can check the number of sign changes in the first column of route array the number of cha sign changes in the first column of route array will give you the number of roots lying on the right hand side so you can we can just see how many uh, sign changes are there i'll just use a different color here okay let us see now here it is positive this is positive this is positive this is positive this is minus and here it is plus so from minus to negative there is one sign change that is plus one one sign change then from minus 24 to plus 8 so this is the second sign change right so one is from plus to minus and the second sign change is from minus to plus so here again plus one so you have total two sign changes okay two sign changes that means that two roots are lying on the right half of s plane so this is how you will be finding uh, the stability of the system using a uh, route array and also you can find the number of uh, roots lying on the right side of the s plane so i hope you understood uh, this one so this is just a special case where you have to where you are getting um, the one row completely zero then you have to form the auxiliary equation then uh, take the derivative of auxiliary equation with respect to x and substitute the coefficient of the derivative of auxiliary equation and in, into the row which is having uh, the element zero so if you are not getting uh, zero elements like that then what you can do is you can proceed uh, the same procedure and complete the route array instead of taking the uh, auxiliary equations and all you can directly uh, complete the route array uh, if if the first element of any row is becoming zero then there is another procedure that is like you have to um, make uh, the first element as a small uh, number epsilon and then proceed and complete the route array first column once you complete the route array and the first column after finishing you have to substitute epsilon uh, tending to zero then you can check for the stability of the system so this is how we will be uh, checking the stability of the system using route stability criteria uh, thanks for watching. Thank you once again.